he's a heck of a player. Um, they're like I said, they're like fingertips away, and our, our guys have a chance to look at that on tape, which which is important uh, to understand. And you, you gotta you have to make sure that you get yourself right, um, uh, you know, technique wise to play against those receivers, and in particular him with his timing and run ability. So he can still scoot. Uh, and he's slippery in the pocket. So you, you've got to make sure you, you handle all of that the right way. And uh, the best thing that I can do as a coach um, or our coaching staff can do is show the players. And the players want to see that. They want to learn from it. And um, uh, But that tells the story. So I can sit here and tell you in a figurative way, but they're, they're seeing it. And they, they, they understand that. Andy Reid's press conference is brought to you by Andy's Frozen Custard. Stop by any Casey location for Travis Kelsey's 87 and Running Concrete and help raise money for this worthy cause. 87 and Running and Andy's Frozen Custard. The perfect option play for Casey fans everywhere. All right. Um, I really don't. Everybody's going to practice today. So uh, in some form or another, and we'll just we'll see how see how that goes. Um, look forward to the challenge of playing. The Broncos, um, you know, we, we get rid of the, the record on this thing as we evaluate them and, um, and look at them as, as a team. And their defense is one of the top defenses in the NFL. Uh, red zone, they're uh, top, and, uh, and then third downs are top. And they're playing like crazy, and their offense is like one fingertip away from winning games. So... Uh, we, we've got to make sure we have a good week of practice and get our get ourselves ready. And it's an AFC West opponent, which is always you know that's great competition. Um, anyways, with that, time's yours. With the Broncos defense, they earlier this year they made some trades to the deadline and got rid of some better some of their better players, but they still keep going. What what do you attribute that to? Yeah, well they're they're well coached and they they play hard. They've got they still have good players there, so they play hard. So. Andy, um, there was a stat CBS showed during the game. Um, you guys have had seven straight games with the turnover. I just wonder if there's something that you've noticed um, that's a theme throughout that, or if it's just you know at this time of the year that's something you need to you know try to cut down. On. Yeah, you got you, you can't turn the ball over. I mean that's so we we're, we're always constantly talking about that. And I'm not sure there's a you know that not necessarily one thing is happening, but the end result is a turnover. So. We've got to take care of the ball. Coach, an in-house matter. We haven't heard, had an update on McCall Hardman in a while. Uh, if all things go well, he might be able to come back next week. How's his progress in injury? Yeah, you know what? It, yeah, he's, uh, he's doing well. Um, he had lost some weight. He's put, put the weight back on, which is good. Um, and he's out running now, and uh, he's, about, he's getting close. Yeah. What's your expectation? You think you might you might have him back next week? Uh, there's a chance. Yeah, there's a chance. Uh, give him a couple more days here. We'll see. But he's doing well. Yeah. I feel like uh, Canarius is in a place where he could play. So yeah, we'll see. I'm going to let him get out there and work a little bit. And, um, you know, we'll just see how see how he does. We're not, you know, I'm not going to bring him back and have him hurt it again. I, that's not what we're looking at. So just see what he can do. Did uh, Tooney have a setback? Maybe in practice Friday or? Uh... No, his thing was just getting that that final push, you know, that, that you can get off of it in the run game. It's day to day, so he, he feels better this week than he did last week. And I just thought that, you know what, he, he's he's made as much progress as he has. Let's just get him, give him a little bit more time. So that's where I was at the end of last week. Coach, um, it, it's, it's came out that um, Orlando Brown and Andrew Wiley are kind of the top two tackles in the league, giving up pressure. It's, what's been the what's been the process in trying to help them? I know there've been a lot of chip blocks and things like that, but what's been the process? Yeah, well, they've gone against some good players, and um, and yeah, we we do try to help them with chips, like we with anybody that's in there. I mean, these, these defensive ends we've played are are pretty good, and the two that we're playing this week are good too. So, um, you know, that's that's part of it. And the overall mentality of the team after a loss, you know what you guys got in front of you, you probably got to win out to try to, you know, make a shot at the one seat there. Just, you just still trying to emphasize, you know, things are still out there in front of them? Yeah, the, the guys know. I mean, they they know where, where they're at. Nobody knows better than they did about, 
you know, about what's, what's out front. So uh, you don't have to stand up there and preach to them about that. <clears throat> they they want to do, do well and they want to win games. That's a, that's a mentality of this team. So, um, you know, they battled their hearts out Sunday and it didn't work out. Come back and let's go. Coach, the challenge of playing a team almost back to back so close in a short time, what is the challenge in that? Yeah, well, we've done this the last couple of years with them, so with this group, and uh, um, so the challenge is you just played them, and they they kind of know what what you've got, and you know what they've got, and you go you go play. But um, we're okay with that. Andy, go ahead. Um, obviously, the, the guys are aware that that Bengals team is a team that you could potentially see again. What, what's the balance of sort of compartmentalizing that, and moving on, versus using some stuff that you saw? Yeah, so I, I think the you know the important thing is you learn from every uh, every win and loss, and um, and then you move on to the next game, and that's what these guys have done. I mean, they're they're tunneled in. I mean, we're deep into you know this thing as coaches. We were deep into it Monday morning, and so uh, by the time you all woke up, we. It was lunchtime for us. <laughs> when, you, when you say you, fall, you, you learn from your wins and your losses, obviously it's been three times uh, small, small uh, point differential in the defeat. But what do you take away from that? So what you saw in Sunday's game doesn't repeat against Denver. Yeah. Uh, well, you know the things that we talked about after the game. I'm not going to go into it. I mean, I've already covered that. I'm again on to on to Denver here. So we're we're uh, trying to get ourselves. Right for that, and uh, they got a good football team, so we're we got to make sure we're right, right for Denver. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I guess what I'm saying is, when you could you say what you saw on film and it was lunch time for us? What did you see on film? Not not right after the not right after the game when you spoke to us, but what did you see on film coming back that yeah. you felt like? You know, yeah, what I talked about Monday. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Same deal. Yeah. What have you seen from Melvin? And is there a chance he he can help you this week or in the next couple weeks? Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's that chance. Um, we're you know we're fairly healthy there, so. Uh, but I'm glad we have him here. You know, he's does a nice job for us. So. When it comes to Patrick in this league, he's been largely dominant, and, and this this team in particular seems to have gotten him a couple times. Not to say he's good at dwell, but how much do you sense is getting him that that he, can, he sort of can't get over that Bengals hump in that way. Yeah, I'm, listen, we're past the Bengals thing. I'm on, uh, you know, way past that. So let's, let's keep going on to Denver. I mean, you know, you're asking me questions about them, but you're asking me to forget about them. So they're forgotten. On to this one. Yeah. Last three, we'll go Nate. Uh, okay, I can't think y'all care. Go ahead. <clears throat> Coach, you know, sometimes I, we talk to the players when they get ready to go to the Mile High Stadium and say, I can't breathe there, I've got to have extra oxygen, and others, it's not bothered at all. So how do you prepare a team when some guys it really affects and other guys not at all? Yeah, we've had, uh, we've been okay there with uh, with the breathing part. You know, we've, you know, it's been late in the year, normally you're in pretty good shape, the weather's a little cooler, and you go in and... It doesn't doesn't hit you quite like maybe in early in the season. Bye, right. Andy. Uh, two things, if you don't mind. One about Justin, and one about uh, Patrick. It, it, it seemed that you uh, might have had uh, either a conversation or something with Justin last week after his comments, and, and I wondered if you felt the need to talk to him again after the Twitter post he had yesterday. Yeah, he's good. He, he's all right. He, he's good. He knows. Um, and on uh, Patrick, I wonder if as the Man of the Year nominee, um, what that sort of says about how he's become emblematic of your team and, and how that sort of stands for him in a broader way. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, he does a great job leading here, but he also takes that into the community. He's done that since really, since he's come here. He's big, obviously, on kids and uh, their needs um, and people in general. He's a He's got a big heart that way for people, so... Um, and I think that's a, it's a tribute to him and his family and the efforts that he puts forward. You're, you're tired during the season, but yet he gets out there and gives mm -hmm. back, and that's, uh, that's an important quality to have. Coach, uh, you mentioned that you know, the Broncos' defense is still what it is. The offense hasn't quite gotten there yet. They've made a lot of changes, right? They brought Russell Wilson. It hasn't been exactly what they want. Have you seen things from them as they've gone throughout the year when you look back and take their – 
getting closer to that? And just a little bit about Russell Wilson and any respect you have for him. Yeah, so I, I mean, I've known Russell, competed against him for a long time. Um, so he um, he's a heck of a player. Um, they're like I said, they're like fingertips away, and our, our guys have a chance to look at that on tape, which which is important uh, to understand. And you, you gotta you have to make sure that you get yourself right, um, uh, you know, technique wise to play against those receivers, and in particular him with his timing and run ability, so he can still scoot. Uh, and he's slippery in the pocket. So you, you've got to make sure you, you handle all of that the right way. And uh, the best thing that I can do as a coach um, or our coaching staff can do is show the players. And the players want to see that. They want to learn from it. And um, uh, But that tells the story. So I can sit here and tell you in a fingertip way, but they're, they're seeing it, and they, they, they understand that. Last one, Nate. Uh, Andy, leading an organization for 24 years, seeing how much the Man of the Year award is the most prestigious award you can win during a season, just what feeling does it give you when the quarterback is nominated for the award? Yeah, well, he's, he's the one that's the, one of the faces of the, the franchise. You know, he's out there. And uh, I mean, this kid is known throughout, you probably could say throughout the world. I mean, I was over in Italy and people were going to Mahomes. You know, so I'm, I'm going, all right. Um, they, they know who he is. Um, and that's a, it's a tribute to, to him and how he handles himself. Um, you know, and, and uh, I, I think it's great. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm proud of him for what, he, for what he's done.